we go, Flynn Fight fans. Your first contest is scheduled for three rounds at a catch weight of 150 pounds, making his way out to the blue corner first. Please welcome Chris Linville. There we go. Good evening, fight fans. Welcome to WXC The Return. It has been almost two and a half years since you've joined us cage side, and we have missed you. I am Steve Lafreit here with my partner for tonight, Travis Brown. Tristan. Tristan, okay, I am Steve. so sorry. <laughs> All right, we can, we can edit that out. I'm here with we'll my partner post. tonight, Tristan Brown, <laughs> and we are going to bring you all the cage side action live. If you joined us last night, you know the standard that we set. Outstanding grappling event, but it is just so exciting to finally be back here next to this WXC Steel for live MMA. I agree, Steve. I don't know that there is any sport in the world that it is exciting to be present for than fighting, and especially MMA. And brother, we got the best seats in the house. Yes, I like do. to uh, uh, refer to this seat, these seats, as the splash zone, because never wear clothes that blood won't come out in the dry cleaning, because we get to see it all. The first couple of fights we're gonna have, Mike Padinelli has searched far and wide to get us some debut fighters that can carry the banner moving forward. Absolutely. All about the young bloods coming up. His opponent making his way into the red corner. Please welcome Ed Peterson. So we have we have retired some of our stalwart fighters. We have graduated some of them. Uh, most notably and famously, Chaos Williams making a tear through the W or the UFC and now we've got that next batch those guys that you are going to be able to see oh my god I saw him when he was brand new I was there and makes you feel old but it's exciting it is exciting especially when you realize some of these guys for two years have been anxiously awaiting this debut let's go to the tail of the tape both of these guys coming in with an 0-0 record both at six feet Linville with a slight reach advantage, but that doesn't usually translate into any type of benefit in their first fight because everybody's got a plan. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face, right, Absolutely. Steve? These guys have had a long time to just worry about training, and that's what's exciting about this. For years, being on the border, we've seen the Canadians come over and they didn't have, it's not legal in Windsor. So they would come over, they could get one fight every year, every year and a half, and all they did was train. So you'd get a one and one guy who was a monster. Yep. All right, fans, let's go into the cage. Pete Trevino with your official WXC introductions. Here we go, WXC fight fans. The following contest is scheduled for three rounds at a catch weight of 150 pounds. Being brought to you tonight by Nationwide Accounting Firm and Motor City Automotives. Officially introducing all three men in the cage at this time, starting with your referee, Shay Butler. And now your fighters, first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the tan trunks trimmed in black and red. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 149.2 pounds. He is a jiu-jitsu fighter representing Garcia Jiu-Jitsu. He comes to the WXC seal for his debut fight tonight. Fighting out of and representing Clio, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Chris Linville. 
His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue and black trunks. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 148.4 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing Team Bushido. He also comes to the WXC Seal for his debut match tonight. Fighting out of and representing Toledo, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, here is Ed Peterson. <laughs> Referee Shea Butler with final fight instruction. Pete always says something right after he leaves the cage, so Ladies just be aware we don't step on this it. This catchweight contest will be decided in three rounds or less. All right, fight fans, welcome back. As we get started here, Chris Linville fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white and black shorts. Ed Peterson fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue camo shorts. His camo shorts not working. I can still see him. <laughs> Quick tap of the gloves. And we're off. Both these guys trying to find their range. Linville stepping in, landing a couple of solid strikes. Oh. Now just swinging for the He's fences. He looks like the Miyagi drum. And there he is. He's dropped him. Ed Peterson in trouble here. Linville Peterson. looking to clinch, and he definitely has a background in jiu-jitsu. Let's see if he can get it to the ground and put it to use. And Peterson grabbing onto the cage for dear life. Shea Butler screaming at him not to do that. They're going to get a little latitude because they're brand new, but it's saved. That's not going to save them. That may cost him a point. Oh. And just like that, Linville's on his back, and it looks like he's trying to get that rear naked choke sunk in. He's under the chin, which is going to be a problem, although it isn't any less painful. No, he's got a full body lock on also, and there's the tap. Linville weathering that early storm. Stood in the pocket, pushed it to the side of the cage. Tried to drag it to the ground and couldn't because Peterson kept grabbing the side of the cage. Said, forget it, I'll just finish it on my feet. I'll climb your back, finish it on your feet. And the first fight of the return is on the books. Here comes the replay. And Tristan, you can see that's in nice and tight right there. Yep. Sinks in, body lock, and that just makes it so much worse, Steve. And he just, there it is. Once he got him to the back and stretched him out, remember to squeeze his elbows together. It went on a little bit quicker. Hats off to this camera crew getting right on top of the action. And it's nice to see Andre Garcia after two and a half years off and getting a win for his camp here. Yep. Hell of a coach if you're in the Flint area at all and you're looking for a place to train. That is a great gym to stop into. Yes, sir. Very respected. And showing why tonight. And we got the, the blood cleanup crew already. <laughs> already earning their paycheck. Yeah, you mean they're, they're free cage side seats. <laughs> you can sit cage side, but I'll need you to wipe up. How bad could it be? I've had worse jobs. Oh, there is no better job, that's for sure. All right, fight fans, we're going to go into the cage. Pete Trevino with your official Ladies. WXC decision. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for both of the fighters in this cage. Your tap out came at 57 seconds of the first round for your winner by rear naked choke submission, Chris Linville. Now he's a 1 0 fighter. All the pressure starts, right? Exactly. Can't lose that zero. By the time an amateur gets to 4-0, it's sort of like a blue belt syndrome. Yeah. Sometimes you don't see them anymore because they don't want to give up that loss. So sometimes taking a loss right out of the gate is not a bad thing. Absolutely. Removes the pressure of it. You can focus on training and the mistakes you made and getting better. And it's an amateur fight, so who cares?